What's up guys, Shadow Raven here, we're back once again with more Pokemon Gold. In the last episode we took on the gym leader, defeated them. Uh, I think we also versed our rival, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, let's check our Pokemon real quick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we took on um, the gym leader. So, let's move on. Yeah, we took on our rival, or, or else that would have like, triggered us into battle. No, I'm pretty sure we have to go get this far fetched up here. And then they'll give us the TM or HM cut. I do not have a Pokemon that can learn cut. Uh, I'm not sure if Caterpie can. Let me check real quick. Came back and Caterpie cannot learn cut, so in that case, we'll just get rid of him. Uh, but when I do come across a Pokemon in this forest, thing, jungle, whatever forest, I will catch a Pokemon that can learn cut. So, we have to find this dude's bird, I know that. It's a far-fetched, I think. But now we need to go around. Nope, Caterpie can't like cut. And I really don't want to have to teach it to my Spiro or Quilala, because I just don't want them having an HM. Ah, excuse me. I believe you can find a Paris in here. In that case, I'll teach the Paris. I know Metapod can't learn that. But... Talk to this dude, he's gonna give us a cut. Sweet. Alright, now I'm gonna cut away and do some searching for Pokemon that I know can learn cut, so until then, uh, I will be right back, but for you it'll be like a quick second transition. So we are back, and I found myself a Paris, and that's great because now we can get ourselves. Oh. Problem, it's really under leveled than us, and I don't want to take this thing out. Okay, we have five Pokeballs. I can at least try throwing the Pokeballs and by chance capturing it. Okay, what do you know? We caught on the first try. That's awesome. Okay. Paris. Mushroom. Give a nickname? Yes. Where's the H? Where's the H? Where's the... Okay, there it is. Shrooms. I hope that's how you spell shrooms, because that's how I'm spelling it. Let me find out real quick if this is how you spell shrooms. Yes, shrooms. Okay, cut, use, 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 use. I'll teach him to shrooms. Shrooms learned cut. Yes! Alright, shrooms. Cut! <laughs> and then this is where you get the GS ball. Well, you don't get it there. You put the GS ball and then this LB appears. And then you go back in time. Okay, uh, and that dude up there that we just passed, he gives you the HM headbutt. Out. The minute Spear is level 20 and then evolves into Fear, I'll start using Quillava again. So, that'll happen. Dang it. Dang it, I hate when that happens and move too early. Dang it. 
Okay. Okay, headbutt. And the reason why I got headbutt was because when I get my EV. Oh, spoiler. Yes, I'm getting an EV, guys, because we're getting an Espeon. Big spoiler. Oh, no, I didn't mean to. Oh, well. But I got this headbutt because I'm getting an EV. And EV pretty much sucks until it evolves. And it needs, like, maximum happiness in order to evolve, so. Um, it doesn't learn any really decent moves at all. So that's why I'm gonna have Headbutt so I can teach it to Eevee so it actually knows a decent move. So it's not useless. Okay. Blah blah blah. Walk through here. We battle this trainer. I think he has a snubble. If you don't know what a snubble is, you're about to find out. One of the most hideous Pokemon in history. Oh no, I think it's the other guy. Uh, there's an, there's a guy in here that has a snubble. I know that for a fact. In that case, I'm going to use Fury Attack. One, two, three. Okay, so you took out a Sandshrew. That was easy enough. Ah, I thought we were going to level up. I was so excited. Oh, he has a Spear of himself. <laughs> if we end up like fighting a student rematch, it's going to be really good because I'll have a Fero. But I mean, we'll be better. <laughs> okay, sweet. Now he will level up into Fibro. Okay, he's about to use Spiro. Yes, we're going to pull lava. Come back, Spiro. Go pull lava. Use Ember. Take out the Spiro. I think it should be. No, I don't think it'll take it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay, he's defeated. What happened? <gasps> what? Spear is evolving. Congratulations, your Spiro evolved into Firo. Coolio, alright. Now let's look at him. Nice stats. So, 47 attack, 54 speed. Compared to Quilava, Firo can kick Quilava's butt. Like, holy crap, this thing is awesome. Okay, now we can switch. I'm probably gonna use Firo to take down um, the mill tank. Who's it? Who owns the mill tank? Who owns the mill tank? Who's the mill tank? Is it? It's. It's... Crap, I don't know her name. But it's some mil mil tank. I know that. <laughs> Whitney. Whitney's mil tank. There we go. This is the dude that had the snubble I was talking about. It's the most ugliest thing of all time. But I love it. Just because it's so ugly. Okay, we're just gonna use bite. If we flinch, that's not gonna be good. Oh, don't tell me he had a berry. Are you kidding me? Way to make this battle last longer than it needs to be. We already know I'm gonna be the winner. See? Critical hit. It's not like the berry even mattered anyway. Am I right? <laughs> I'm right. Where's the applause? Can I get an applause? Not really, I have to. Travel onwards. Bum, bum, I'm the best in my class at Pokemon. See, I wish this was like real life where there is actual Pokemon school. Like, if Pokemon was real, like, that would be amazing. I'd go to Pokemon school rather than real school. Like, pfft, forget that. This Pokemon's really cool. It'd be cool to have in our team. Intent. Intent. Oh no, is that another spoiler? 
this episode's just full of spoilers. Wait, for those people who out there who didn't catch that, they're probably like, wait, what? What spoiler? I missed it. Trying to rewind, trying to find out what happened, and they're probably too dumb to figure it out. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying you guys are dumb, but there's always that one guy who misses everything and doesn't understand. He's gonna rewind back and be like, I don't need damn still. I'll make it more simple for you. At this point, you probably wasted at least two minutes to keep rewinding backwards so you can figure out what I was hinting at. I'm getting a manky. Point blank. Okay, I'm back. I had to take care of some really quick. So, Ember, take care of this diglet. Okay. Blah, 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 we get it. Ah! Alright, now this trainer has all grass type Pokemon. I know she has a Bulbasaur. Well, at least in Crystal she does. Hop that's gonna give me crazy experience. I remember when I was little, I was like, every time I found a hop hip, I would like just go crazy because it would give me so much experience. Or I thought it would give me like a lot of experience, like for such a weak Pokemon. Like, I would go hunting for hop hip just so I can gain experience. I don't remember this trainer having hop up in crystal, it probably changes from gold to crystal. Okay, no, they still have the bubble star. Okay, so earlier today I saw a Pokemon Direct and they revealed more information about Pokemon X and Y and I was going nuts when they first said that, oh, um, not only is the professor not giving you your Pokemon, you're getting it from a trainer, your friend. I was like, okay, that's cool. And then he's like, what's even better is that the professor is still going to give you a Pokemon. I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, so you're gonna get both? I was confused for a second, I was like, wait, so you're getting both? Like, you can get two starters? I'm like, what is this? Okay, wait, 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 what? One of these dudes is supposed to give you an egg. Oh, I think it's her. No, wait, what? One of these people is supposed to give you an egg. What the frick? Or is that only in Crystal? I'm so confused, oh well. So I was like, wait, you get- you can choose like two starters in X and Y? I'm like, that's amazing! And then, they're like, nope! You get to choose a starter from Gen 1. And I was flipping out, I was like, wait, I can have Bulbasaur, Squirtle, or Charmander, what?! And I was like, I'm gonna have Charizard, and I was super excited. And then, it got even better. They were like, yep, Mega Evolutions for them too. And I was like, what? This is intense. This is crazy. I'm like, what's going on? My life is a lie. And then they were talking about how, like, all Pokemon are gonna have Mega Evolutions. Or at least, um, the majority, I think. Or, like, the way I took it was every Pokemon's gonna have a Mega Evolution. I'm not sure if that's the case, but I'm super excited. So, there's my little rant there. But I'm so excited for X and Y, like, when I heard about it, I was like, whoa, Black and White 2, like, just came out, like, not too long ago, and they're already releasing X and Y, like, what is this? So I was just super excited. And in one month, we will be getting those games, guys, so... Alright, well, that's all the time we have for this episode, guys. I will see you later. Goodbye.